the powerful accountable. Governor, did the DEP keep you in the dark? Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is targeting. Is Hillsborough County more interested in finding good homes for dogs and cats in its shelter, or are they just trying to get the paws out the door? A free pet adoption weekend in July ended up placing some dogs in simply awful conditions. Target A senior investigator Steve Andrews tracks some of these so-called successful uh, adoptions, and, and right now, from what you can tell, they don't look so successful. They're not. Not at all. And this is what happens when you pretty much give animals to anyone who walks in the door. The Hillsborough County Pet Resource Center is bursting with animals. So many that in July it held a free adoption weekend. I would say that a lot of the dogs end up in good homes. Liz Ann Quinn tracks dogs adopted from the shelter through the Pairs Project. Volunteers contact adopters to make them aware of resources that will help lead to successful outcomes. For dogs like Tom, Stanley and Etta, the outcome wasn't so good on free adoption weekend. We found that some of the dogs went to people who advertise on their Facebook pages about hog hunting. Um, we've seen some of the dogs on Craigslist for sale. Emails and pictures I obtained from the county show PRC is well aware of all this. This picture shows Stanley up for sale. Lizanne can't find Tom. She worries he may already be dead. As for Etta, get this. The PRC adopted Etta to a guy who owed Hillsborough 560 bucks in fines for violating county animal ordinances. There's no application process to weed out the people who should not be given dogs. Etta went to an owner who failed to vaccinate his dogs with rabies shots and purchased tags. When there's free dog weekend, those people come out in droves to get free dogs. After I requested emails that raised concerns about Etta, an animal control officer took a look and not only confiscated Etta on grounds of cruelty, he grabbed five more dogs. As a county, we should be concerned if we are spending our money sending animal control out to follow up on adoptions that clearly should not have taken place to begin with. I think that should concern everyone. Now, following my request to the county for emails, raising concerns about where these dogs ended up, many of those emails happen to be from Lizanne Quinn, PRC Director Scott Trebitoski sent Lizanne an email suggesting the PRC take over the Pairs Project, meaning the county will keep track of the dogs that it gives to just anybody. Hmm. I know what that sounds like. Yeah. Why is there no adoption application or really a screening process of any kind? It takes time. PRC wants these adoptions done so people don't have time to change their minds. And Mr. Trebitoski's evaluation is closely tied to the number of live releases or paws out the door. Mm. All right. Thank you, Steve. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, call him on the Target 8 helpline. It is 1-800-338-0808.